Hey everyone, it's Vosk, I'm here with Tails, and today we're gonna to show you one of the best ways to earn passive income with cryptocurrency. If you follow the Vosk on YouTube channel, you know that, well, we love mining. The miner's off right now so we can get better audio quality in this video, but the next best way to earn passive income within cryptocurrency, or really just in general, period, would be with a master node. So what is a master node? Some people are familiar with nodes, but what makes a master node? The master node is an evolution of the original node. So for example, a Bitcoin node runs a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. The short, simple version is that this supports the network. The master node concept was made popular by Dash, as well as PIVX, which are two of some of the top ranking cryptocurrencies by market cap. And within those, a user has to stake X amount of currency, for example, 1,000 Dash or 10,000 PIVX, and in exchange, they perform more duties for that blockchain and they are rewarded for doing so. For example, in the masternode governance model within Dash, these masternodes are the ones who decide what happens with Dash. They comprise this entire governance system, so they vote on important issues or basically the direction they would like their coin to go. They are big time stakeholders and they're rewarded for that. Zencash has also evolved their model to now by the end of 2018, they're gonna be giving 20% of the block reward to the node operators. 10% will be going to secure nodes and the other 10% will be going to super nodes. What's the difference in that? If you're wondering what a secure node is, we've actually got a video on it. And if you wonder what a super node is, it's like a secure node on steroids. What it's gonna do is allow Zencash to run side chains as well as a host of other functions, as well as monitor secure nodes and their uptime and take care of the mining payouts for Zencash. So previously, miners are receiving a larger stake. Now it's gonna get bumped down to, I believe, 70%. But if I forgot, here's a screenshot just in case. If you've been following the Voscoin channel, you know that we just started a new series of profitable coins to mine in 2018, whether they're profitable right now or they may have a bright future. And on that, we covered Snowgem, which was the first coin to implement some masternodes on the Equihash blockchain, which is pretty cool. And their masternodes have since gone live and their payments are going out. So you're probably like, well, Voss, how do I set one of those up? Well, good news, Tails. Tails doesn't pay attention, but Tails and I are working on a tutorial for that that we'll have soon. And this is actually gonna be part of our new Masternode playlist. We're gonna be covering Masternodes, and then we're gonna, once I get a couple going, I'm gonna report back on their profitability, and if it makes sense, or if you'd make more money, maybe trying to trade with this money. But again, it's a totally different world. The day trader is not gonna be the guy with Masternodes. That's a good point. When you have these nodes, you have to lock up the funds normally. So say if you have a secure node, you need 42 Zen, or you need, or you want a Zencash super node, you need 500 Zen to have stake on that. And to stake a coin means you're putting it aside, that's it, you're not touching it. So by doing this, these coins, they lock up that money, it helps their price stability, as well as gauge the people who are seriously invested in their project. Again, you know, there's some this and that, like, oh, well, you know, how am I ever gonna get one of those nodes? That cost X amount of dollars. Well, the best answer is to get into a node position sooner than later because you know arguably this is an investment advice but as a whole cryptocurrency prices are going to go up so the sooner you get a node operable the better off you are just like our pearl master node that we talked about in our pearl mining series that nodes it's a pretty expensive node but if you'd been mining pearl way back when man you'd be you'd be pretty happy right now if you were gonna hodl that coin say you were just gonna hodl pearl or hodl zen cash or whatever then why not put it into a node and make even more money? It's, it, it turns it almost into a proof of stake coin. That's where the term staking comes from. And that's so you're getting paid dividends for holding that cryptocurrency. Again, passive income, have your money make money. So if you've got a mining rig, you're mining cryptocurrency, right? So your investment is already worth money. It's making you money. And then you use this coin to get into a mass node staking system. So then your money is making more money. So you got money making money making money. And that's how you get ahead in life. I'm trying to get ahead in life. Turbos aren't cheap and neither is dog food. So ultimately, a master node or whatever name you want to put to it is an evolution of a node. And that node helps operate, secure, run the blockchain. So they're trying to evolve it to make it an integral part of their ecosystem and encourage users 
therefore to use and operate them. For example, with Zencash's secure node model, they now have more nodes than Bitcoin. Zencash is not even in the top 100 cryptocurrencies by market cap, and they now have more nodes than Bitcoin, the OG number one cryptocurrency. Think about that. That's pretty crazy. And it's not because everyone wants to just be a hero and be like, I'm gonna run a node. It's because they wanna earn money with their money that they're hoping to earn money with. And I don't know if I said that one too many times so it didn't make sense, but you get the point there. So with that, I wanna say that I think a lot of coins are gonna go this route. I think more and more coins are gonna adopt this proof of stake model, but it's gonna be best suited if it's in a hybrid fashion. So you have the mining reward, your blockchain is secured by proof of work, but then you know, your whole project is backed up by the staking proof of stake model and that allows you to you know hit both sides of the spectrum and really just capitalize on both sides of the playing field there is not a lot of investors that are going to build out a mining farm but there are a lot of investors that would love to stake coins have their money make money and you know vice versa these miners they want they want to make money obviously they're mining and with that, they can mine coins that they can turn into these nodes and make more money and then continue operating their farm and continue mining, unless Bitmain takes over all the mining in the world, but you know, that's a whole other subject. But anyway, you guys get my point. So I don't wanna go on and on with this video. This is just a, a master node basic video. We're gonna go more in depth on the, the functions of these nodes when we do each individual video. For example, the Snowgem master node has specific functions that are unique to it as opposed to the Zencash secure node. Every node is gonna be a little bit different there and we are gonna cover them specifically when we get to that point. And just so you know, I don't have a big tech background here, but if I can operate a node, then so can you. We're gonna have these tutorials. I'm getting a lot of help from our community. Make sure to join our Discord server. We've got a ton of helpful guys in there that'll help you get your nodes operational as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure to thumbs up, leave a comment. I'll see y'all next time. I'll be home.